Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. It's Thursday. How's your week been? Hopefully it's been a good week. Let's get into our email and see what we have for today. This first email says, Hi, I need a new rig. I hear you can help. I really want it to be able to run World of Warcraft, so can you do that before four days? Zotac components are meant to be the bomb. I heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. So... $3,000 for a World of Warcraft PC for minimum spec. I think we'll be able to do a little bit better than that. So let's go ahead and accept that one. Next one says, hello. So I hear you're good at building PCs. Let's go big and custom water cool the whole PC. Can you do it in four days? My brother has EK water block in his PC and says they are the best. I know used parts can be cheaper, but I'd like new ones, please. So, custom cooled PC, CPU and GPU, for 3500 bucks. I think we can make that happen. Let's accept that one. And this last one says, Hey, I used to build my own PCs, but I don't have time anymore. Can you help? I'm looking forward to playing Football Manager 2017. When you get that done in three days. Don't try and pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff. I'm a total AMD fanboy. So just a PC to play a Football Manager 2017 at recommended spec, 1750 bucks ought to get it done. Let's accept that one. All right, so let's pull up Will It Run, World of Warcraft, minimum spec. So here is what is required. I'm going to step away, get a build put together, and be right back. So for this first build, we've got the ASRock Z390 Tai Chi Ultimate, an i7-9700K, a Kraken X72, four sticks of HyperX Predator, 16 gig, 3200 MHz, a Zotac 1070, 750 watt Cooler Master power supply, the Adata 960 gig M.2 drive. We're going to put that in the Corsair Carbide Spec 06 RGB in white so i haven't built in this case yet hopefully everything fits well our next build here is for the custom water cooled pc so let me get the custom water cooling shop brought up i'm going to step away get this build put together and be right back so for our next build here we're going to go with the asus rog crosshair what is that, 7 Hero? The AMD Ryzen 7 2700X, four sticks of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, 8 gig, 3600 MHz, an Adata 900, no, 480 gig M.2 drive, a 3TB uh, Barracuda drive, 1050 watt power supply, and we're going to put that in the Lee and Lee PC011 Dynamic. As for the cooling and GPU going in that one, it's going to get a EK a Reservoir, an EK CPU block, an EK 360mm radiator, and an EK GTX 1080. All right. And for our last build we're doing today here, uh, the Football Manager one. Let's pull that up real quick. So he wants to run it at recommended spec. So there's what is required. He says he's an AMD fanboy though, so we're going to convert that over to AMD. But I'm going to get a build put together and be right back. For this last build, we're going to go with the Gigabyte B450 motherboard, the Ryzen 5 2600X, the Kraken X52, two sticks of Gigabyte Aorus, RAM 8 gig, 3200 megahertz a Gigabyte RX 580 8 gig, a 550 watt EVGA power supply, 512 gig Patriot Scorch M.2, 4 terabyte hard drive. We're going to put that in the Antec P6 case. All right. So let's go ahead and get everything ordered for next day delivery. Let's close out some of this stuff. Let's go into our day, and we'll get in our parts, and our cases, and we can get back to work. All 
Okay. Get our parts here. Let's get our cases set out on workbenches. And then I will try to get the right name with the right case. Let's see, I think this one goes with that case. This one with this one. And Scott with the P6. All right, let's get this case taken apart. We can start getting parts put into it. Let's get this fan out of here. Okay, let's get our motherboard in. It's the ASRock Z390 Tai Chi Ultimate. We'll get that screwed down. Let's get it ready for RAM and CPU. It's getting the 9700K. And I believe it was getting four sticks of Predator. 16 gig, 3200 megahertz. Get those put in. And the last one, there we go. Get some thermal paste on that CPU. And let's get the cooler on there, which is this Kraken X72. There we go. Hmm. How do we want to put the GPU in this? Let's go ahead and get our storage in there, which is the 960 gig M.2 drive. Let's just put it in this way. It's the Zotac 1070. Here it is. No, we don't want to install it in the front. There we go. And let's get our power supply in. It's the Cooler Master. Okay, let's cable this up. Went to the wrong thing. There we go. What color? Hmm. Doesn't that Zotac kind of light up with like a cyan? Let's try it. Get a USB drive in there. Let's see if we can get it to power on. Hop into the BIOS real quick. Turn our XMP on. Man, that thing's making a weird sound. Like the fan sounds funny, at least in my headset. Let's get this lighting app on here. Let's change some light color. Okay. Let's get everything to match. There we go. Let's get this case put back together. Oops. Broke it. I just say, I think the front of this case lights up, so we may want to hop back in our lighting app. 
And make that match. There we go. Let's get this glass side panel on. I think that turned out well. Let's go put this out in the hall. Let's save this water-cooled beast for last. Let's do this one next. Because hopefully it will be an easy, quick one. Let's get our motherboard in. Which is this Gigabyte B450. We'll get it ready for RAM and the CPU. It's going to get the 2600X. And two sticks of Gigabyte Aorus RAM. So we'll get that installed. Let's get this out of our way. Let's get our Patriot Scorch Drive in there. And we can get our, whoops, get our four terabyte hard drive installed. And while we're on this side of the case, let's go ahead and get our 550 watt power supply in. Get some thermal paste on that processor. Let's get the cooler on. It is the X52. Whoops. And we can go ahead and get our graphics card in, which is the Gigabyte Radeon RX 580. Whoops. Let's cable this. Let's do maybe some orange. Go along with some of those gigabyte colors. Let's get this dust filter on and the front panel. Now we can cable up the power button. Let's get a USB drive in. Let's power it on. We will hop into the BIOS. Turn our XMP on. Make sure we're booting from the correct drive. What kind of colors do we have? Got some crazy colors going on. So let's get our lighting app on. I think we're going to try to make it match this Aorus. So let's see. We can make all of that match. Uh, sort of. Let's see how it looks once we get the side panel put on. Some of these side panels are act like they're tinted or something, and it seems to fix some of the colors. And the NZXT is still off, but it is a different brand, so I guess I can let that go. Turned out pretty good. Let's get this out in the hall, and we can start working on this custom water-cooled PC. Let's get this case disassembled. Let's get our radiator installed here first. And we'll get our motherboard, which is the Asus. Get 
get that screwed down. We'll get it ready for RAM and CPU. So it's getting the 2700X. And the memory, that's what I'm looking for. We're going to do four sticks of this Corsair. So with 32 gigs of RAM in here. Okay. Let's get these off the bottom, and we don't need those. Let's get our storage installed. It's the 480 gig M.2 drive. I think the hard drives mount back here somewhere. Oh yeah, they mount in this weird Get that installed. Let's put this little panel back on. Okay, let's get some thermal paste on that CPU. Man, why do I have so many? Oh, one of them's used. Get this CPU block installed. Let's get our GPU installed. Okay. Let's get our reservoir installed. I think that's it for our water cooling. Parts. Okay, let's get our power supply in. Which is this 1050 watt. We should be ready to start cabling and piping. So let's cable this up. Let's use... I know this case lights up green. Maybe we'll use some green cables. Maybe we'll put some green coolant in the cooling system as well. All right, let's get this piped up. Let's use rigid piping. Wow, that looks terrible right there. Let's see if we can't do something. Let's move that in a little bit. There we go. Let's go with that. We'll run from there to the reservoir. A little short run's fine. We'll run from there. I don't remember if that is the in or the out. Guess we will find out. We'll run from there to the, oh my. See if I can't straighten this out just a little bit. Maybe not.
I mean, I don't hate that run. Let's put coolant in it and see how it works out. Did I cable that? Okay. Oh good, that's running the way I wanted it to run. We'll let that fill. Let's go ahead get our USB drive installed. We should be ready to power on. We will hop into the BIOS. Turn our XMP on. Let's put our lighting app on. We'll adjust a few colors. And this one should be good to go. Let's make everything green. There we go. Get our side panels on. We'll get our top panel on. Well, let's take a look at this. Very razor-like. All right, let's put it out in the hall. And let's collect some money. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Unlocked a EVGA RTX 2070. Nice. And we've got some daily deals. And we've got some more emails for the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode.